nice one called Deeds. It is a boiling Thursday morning, and I'm about to start the Boudicca Way, which runs from Norwich to Dis. It's 37 miles. It might not sound that far, but I've picked by accident in the middle of a heat wave. And rather than start at the station, I'm starting at the beautiful Norwich Cathedral, which in many ways is where this channel started, because back in 1970, on Christmas Eve, this is where my dad proposed to my mum. Isn't that incredible? So I really am at the start of this YouTube channel. All right, everyone, let's get going. Good luck, everyone, especially me. Ugh. No wonder people have been looking at me weird. My hat's totally misshapen. This whole bit at the start of the walk is a very beautiful, quiet place. It feels like you've gone back about 100 years. There's a station if you want to start there. I was looking for a place for breakfast called Dude. And what should I stumble across? None other than a pub called the Queen of Iceni, or as well as Boots, but still, named after Boudicca herself on the Boudicca Way. The perfect place for breakfast. Possibly, I mean, it was a Witherspoon's breakfast, so well, an average place for breakfast. Over on the left down there, cool dudes, is Carrow Road. Home of the greatest football team to get relegated from the Premier League last year. Norwich City, who incidentally have the oldest football song in history. On the Ball City, which was written around 1890. It's not the best song. You decide for yourself. On the Ball City, never mind the danger. Steady on. Now is your chance, hurrah, we've scored. City, City. And last night, cool dudes, none other than Sir Elton John was playing at Carrow Road. How do I know this? Well, because I could hear every single word he sang from the uh, Airbnb that I stayed at, about 500 yards from the stadium. America. I'm walking through a place called Trowels now and to do this route I'm using Outdoor Active which is an app I use and to keep an eye out for weird names I must remember to switch between the Outdoor Active map and the Ordnance Survey map. You can just choose which one you want to see. In fact there's a selection of loads of different ones. Another good contender, Mustard Way. Astute cool dudes may have noticed that all the signs read Boudicca with two C's. But sometimes when you look up on the internet, it's with one C. And an historian found out that it was a spelling mistake with two Cs. It's supposed to be one C. Anyway, I've chosen two Cs for this because I just think aesthetically it looks nicer. So it's up to you really, isn't it, I suppose. Can anyone tell me what this is? I don't know why it says nap or whatever they mean to do with it. But there's all stones and feathers and bits of glass and crockery stuck in here. I would like to know, please write below. It's 24 degrees at about 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's pretty hot. Can I get to 27 today, according to my weather app? But tomorrow, I'm really worried because 
it's going to be 31 in the afternoon. So I'll have to get up very early and try and get most of the walk, walk done before it gets exceptionally hot. Oh no. This is what someone suggested to keep cool, is to pour water on this and put it inside the hat. That is the plan, although well, I can't do it with one hand. My new name is Peter Wethead. Interesting. A bee orchid, which is an orchid that mimics the scent of the female bee. And males have been observed attempting to copulate with the flowers. Where have you been? You smell of flowers again. No, I was just down the hive with the lads. We're heading towards Keister St Edmund. And this was where Boudicca's Iceni tribe was based. I haven't talked much about her yet. For those of you who don't know, she was the head of the Icenes who rose up against the Romans around 60 or 61 AD and defeated them in Colchester and then in, well, St Albans what was Versalium, I can't remember his name of it, and in London as well. And they killed 70 to 80,000 people before they were defeated. Pretty impressive. And this is an old Anglo-Saxon cemetery site. And it was excavated between 1930 and 1938, their sign says. We are called dudes at Venta Iconorum, which is the remains of the old Roman town, the means market of the Iceni. And this is the excavation back in 1928. That is it today, cool dudes. And back in the fourth century, that would have been your view. This is pretty cool, dude, to think I'm walking right through the middle of an old Roman town. Just in case you need any more history, this church is where the fictional character of Alan Partridge is said to have got married. My friend Carlos, who you may remember from the Augustine Camino walks, he's following me on Buddy Beacon, which is on the Outdoor Active app, so people can see how I'm doing on the walk. And he says there's a place just over there called Broken Back Plantation. And that probably gets in the top three names, along with Mustard Way. And I really like Trouds as well. I'm not sure what order yet. Sometimes cool dudes, you just get lucky on walks. I was getting dangerously low on water, then by some miracle, this van appeared. Little Miss Latte, it's called, and the kind lady gave me some water. I had a coffee and a lemonade and a flapjack. And she was telling me all about this area here, which is quite interesting. It's called High Ash Farm. And the farmer just put the whole thing up for conservation. So he's grown fields of plants that attract different sort of bees and birds and walks all around the outside of them. And he relies totally on donations to keep it going. So I'll probably donate to it. Here's the website here below. If you're a millionaire, why not give that farmer some money? Nice one. It's so hot, cool dudes. It's actually become very quiet because you get the feeling that everyone's just inside or at the beach apart from me. I don't know what it's gonna be like tomorrow. I'll have to get up about five o'clock in the morning to avoid the heat. According to an information board at the old Roman village, they found loads of um, gourds which they used to drink alcohol out of. So it made me think that everyone there was drunk the whole time. And I began wondering whether the Roman Marek 
would be happier than the modern day Marek. Anyway, the question of the day called dudes is, what period of history would you like to have lived in and why? Please put your answers below. I'm still trying to work out mine. I quite like the modern day, although I think that in about 10 years time, we're going to get destroyed by super intelligent robots. So that's my second question. How do you think the world is going to end? Please put your answers to that below as well. Hopefully, none of them will come true. Nice one. Oh, I wish that PMB were the other way around. Boring land. Uh-oh, Shetland pony. What do you want? We're not getting any strawberry laces. Get lost. La la la, mm -hmm. la 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 la. Mm -hmm. Oi, non sunglasses, Mary. Yeah? I was listening to your accent and I think I've worked out where you're from. Oh, uh, whereabouts? Boring land. Oh. The globe. Let's hope they're serving food. These are my favourite types of names for houses. When people decide to make the name of the house out of their first two names. Cathbry, Cathdefer and Bryony. I think Cathbry is now the number one name of the walk. Slightly worryingly, the route I downloaded on my phone from someone's website doesn't match the route that is marked out by the arrows. But I am trusting the website route because I'm going off in a minute to go towards Mulbarton. And that'll be the end of day one. I know, it's been a non-stop roller coaster of excitement. Well, my friends, I am going to turn off here and head for Mulbarton, which is where my B&B is, a couple of miles away. Today's walk was a total of 12.9 miles, 8 hours and 42 minutes. I stopped off quite a lot, all right? So don't have a go at me about uh, average speed. There's a church over there, and that's where I'll be starting my walk from tomorrow on the hottest day of the world ever recorded in the history of humanity, on the world ever, of the history of all time. I hope I survive. I hope you enjoyed that walk today. If you did, why not join the club? You can join via the website and get this excellent membership pack and you'll be entered in a prize draw. Also, you can join on YouTube and that way you get to use these emojis and you get to see videos that only YouTube members can watch. Or you can join both ways. Thank you very much to everyone who's joined. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Prize draw coming up next. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. All right, see you later. Mm. Yes, I very much enjoyed watching that. It's almost time for the prize draw, but beforehand, if you would like to get the Outdoor Active app, you can get money off using this code called Dudes 10F. It's highly recommended. Okay, the prize draw. This week, the prize draw is as follows. Yes, I've got some stickers made. The badges should be coming soon as well, and I'll update the badge set on the website, but it'll only be available when it's updated. Let me know if you'd like me to make some vinyl stickers as well. These are just the paper ones, and I'm saying them £3 for 15 mainly because the postage is expensive and the PayPal fees so that's why they're that price otherwise i don't make anything all right and you'd understand anyway it's time for the prize draw uh currently there are 187 members on youtube and 826 members on the website making a total of 1013 prize draw entries random number generator Generate me a number. Generate 560. 
Congratulations, cool dude 560, aka Adam. I hope you like the prize. Enjoy the strawberry laces. Thanks for watching. And one more thing stay cool. Alright, see you later.